Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Roundup. As always, I'm David Cantu, and today we have some ghost busting and a dark tower to talk about. Let's jump right in. You might not believe me if I tell you, but it looks like the Dark Tower movie is happening. Since the early 2000s, it's been stuck in developmental hell, with various directors such as J.J. Abrams and Ron Howard coming on board, but then eventually moving on to other projects. The latest director to take the lead is Nikolai Arcel, who previously directed A Royal Affair and the original Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. I mean, it's quite a big project that this guy has in his hands. The Dark Tower story is comprised of eight novels, various comic books, and other short stories. That's a lot of source material. He must be pretty committed in making it work though if the most recent news is any indication. The Dark Tower writer himself, Stephen King, took to Twitter to confirm the following. It's official. The man in black fled across the desert and the gunslinger followed. Hashtag Dark Tower movie. At McConaughey. At Idris Elba. Idris Elba then tweeted. At McConaughey. You have one new follower. Hashtag Dark Tower movie. In which Matthew McConaughey replied. At Idris Elba. Come and get me. I look forward to it. Hashtag Dark Tower movie. So in case there's any confusion, Elba will be playing the lead role of the gunslinger, Roland Deshane. Deshane is a man in a post-apocalyptic world that's on a mission to scale the Dark Tower and set things right. McConaughey is going to be playing Walter Paddock, otherwise known as a man in black. His mission is fairly simple. Destroy the Dark Tower and doom the world forever. Sounds intense. I really do hope that they get it right, and I know for a fact there's a lot of people out there that hope the same thing. So come on, let's kind of stick to the source material as close as you can anyway. The film is currently in pre-production and has a projected release date of January 13, 2017. It is kind of weird to release it around that date, but they might be trying to avoid the superhero films of that year. I'm really looking forward to the film and they picked two great actors to lead it. Now all we need is a trailer to get us even more hyped. If you've been waiting for the trailer for the new Ghostbusters film, then wait no longer. Since the film was announced, there have been people that have thrown out plenty of negative comments about it. Then there were people like myself that wanted to wait until the trailer came out to actually give an opinion on it. Now that it's here, what did I think? It looks pretty damn good. The first scene shows Kristen Wiig, Kate McKinnon, and Melissa McCarthy coming face to face with a really cool Victorian looking ghost. I'm glad that they kept the ghost somewhat similar in style to the original. Wig tries to talk to the ghost and she straight up slime pukes on her. That one scene in itself kind of sets the tone of what to expect. They then give us a quick rundown on what each character is good at and what they have to offer. Then Leslie Jones is shown offering her services to the team because she knows the city really well and that'll come in handy. We also get a shot of the new Ecto-1 and the girls in full gear. We even get a quick glimpse of Slimer, which is what I was waiting for. Then there's a great moment of McCarthy being possessed by a spirit and attacking her teammates. That right there confirms the Hemsworth possession that was shown in the Lego set promo photos. And then we get the Ghostbusters logo across the screen. Now if you ask me what the movie's about, I really would not be able to tell you other than ghost busting. What we do know, thanks to some more toy photos, is that the main villain of the film is going to be called Rowan, and he looks a lot like the ghost from the Ghostbusters logo. According to director Paul Feig, Rowan is a villain ghost that is an executed murderer, a Ted Kaczynski type, who has left behind a manifesto of how he wants to change and destroy the world. When his execution is hit by a supercharged electrical storm, he is turned into a powerful ghost able to rouse other villainous spirits from the ghost world to carry out the ever-expanding plans of his manifesto. That does sound interesting, and the trailer does have me really excited for the film. I can't wait to see it when it hits theaters July 15th. Are you excited for The Dark Tower? What are your thoughts on the new Ghostbusters trailer? Let me know in the comments below. Click on the gunslinger here to subscribe to this channel, give us a thumbs up while you're there, and if you can't, share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching another episode of The Roundup. We'll catch you next time.